Hello, Sambayanan! I am Samber and this is The Sam Up. OMG, welcome, welcome, welcome to our second episode! Sobrang excited ako for this show dahil sobrang tagal namin itong pinag-isipan and ang daming revisions na ginawa namin to make this more interesting and engaging at gusto namin habang nanonood kayo, syempre nag enjoy kayo at may natututunan din kayo. At speaking of may natututunan, meron tayong guest. My very first guest here in my show. It's an honor. Kilala po siya in the world of pageantry at diosa. Kumare ng lahat na lagi namang sagot na niya ang cheka, Miss MJ Lastimosa! Yes! Yes! Iba talaga ang energy pag ikaw ang kasama. Yan talaga ang ganon. Ang taas talaga. Thank, thank you so much naman, Mare, for inviting me. Uy, no, thank you so oh. much. Kasi alam ko, ang layo pa ng nilakbay mo. Ang daming, very busy po talaga ang Diyosa at Mare ng lahat. Pero alam mo, eto yung proof talaga ng sisterhood na nabubuo sa Philippine pageantry. Totoo. Isang tanong mo lang, kahit ako sa YouTube hmm. channel ko, magtatanong ako ng mga, lalo yung mga binibining sisters, napakadaling mag-ask ng favor. Yeah, hindi kasi napakabuti mo ding tao. Very generous ka rin talaga sa lahat ng mga advices. So, eto na yung Gcash. <laughs> Mamaya mo na yung <laughs> Maya tayo. Thank you so much, Maya. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> Maya and Gika's uh -oh. not one sponsor. Pero ito na nga. We are so honored, of course, to have you here in our show. And syempre, little icebreaker lang. Mm -hmm. Meron tayong gagawing game. So, simple lang ito. May mga... Ang mechanics ng games natin is, I have 10 questions for you. Since kilala tayo bilang madaldan, mm -hmm. mahirap sa atin mag-concise. Ito ang challenge for you. is to answer with a certain number of words corresponding to the question number. Grabe, mas mahirap pa sa Miss Universe. <laughs> so, kunwari, example, example, question number one, dapat oh. isang word lang yung sasabihin mo. Okay. Question number two, dapat two words. Oh. Question number three, three words, and so on and so on. Competitive tayo, kaya natin yan. <laughs> Laban ko na Laban na natin to. Okay, let's do it. Okay, it's time to answer some questions. Question number one. With one word answer. A word that describes your current love life status. Love life again, no panakat katalaga. Yes, ganun talaga. <laughs> um, I'm bothered. Ah! Oh! <laughs> kasi, kasi, <laughs> alam mo, lagi, lagi akong tinatanong, bakit ba? Okay. Bakit walang love life ganyan? Mm -hmm. Because I'm unbothered. It, Ito, if it will happen, it will happen, di ba? Hindi ko hindi stress yung sarili ko about that. Can I just say, ikaw lang yung kilala ko talaga, truly and genuinely, alam ko, nararamdaman ko na unbothered ka talaga. Unbothered talaga, Mari. Kasi love minsan yan. yung iba, sasabihin nila na unbothered, pero parang, deep inside the prayer, oh my gosh. Pero I can really feel that you're enjoying your life. Every season, because, every wins of your life. And because I really learned how to love myself. I really learned how to enjoy my own company. Yeah. And I know what to do when I don't have work, yeah. how to spend my spare time. It's Good. just a matter of really knowing yourself and what you want, di ba? So, yeah. para hindi nakaasa sa ibang tao yung Oh, ano nang gagawin ko ngayon? Kailangan Oy, ko ng pero partner. Pero totoo, ganyan ka talaga. Mm -hmm. You're very genuine. Ganyan talaga. Ayun. So, thank you so much. <laughs> Question number two. For two words. Your greatest pet peeve. Ano ba? Sobrang dami actually. Pero, <laughs> siguro right now, um, complaining person. Oh, Di ba? Okay. Ang dami nating trabaho. Laging, sa work natin, laging maraming tao. Totoo. And then, a positive vibe, yung energy is very important. What if yung isang kasama mong tao, lagi nalang ang daming reklamo? Ah, uh, nakakalimutan ng maging bagay. grateful. Oo, naka, ako medyo may inis factor sa akin yung puro complain na lang yung naririnig mm -hmm. ko. Kasi ako, I'm really trying to live the moment, to be appreciative of everything that's happening in my life. Yeah. And as much as possible, I want to keep that positivity around me. Yeah, so pet peeve siya for you. Oo, oh, oh, yung parang, food. girl, reklamo. Umaga hanggang gabi. Work, eh. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Reklamador tayo Tama. for today's Noter, video. Uh -oh. Alright, third question for three words. Qualities of your ideal man. Oi! <laughs> ano, 3M. Oi, may ma. Okay. Ang mahal ko. 3M, um, 
macho. Oh. Importante nga, hindi ka mag-workout, kailangan macho ka rin. Kailangan. Mabait. Okay. Siyempre, dapat mabait. Ayaw, dapat ayaw mabait. naman natin ng Partner ma-attitude, di ba? Oo, tama. Mayam. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Uy, kasi naman, mayaman ka na on your own. Oh, oh. So, kailangan mo ng tao mas mayaman para to lift you up. Marami namang definition yung pagiging mayaman. Okay. Iba-iba naman tayo din ng description and definition mm-hmm. of like, how rich do you think you are? Okay. Diba? K- kahit yung definition mayaman ng success. Sa pamamahal, oh, oh, mayaman, mayaman ka ba sa endorsement? Ano? Ako mayaman, pero nalang kulang, kaya kailangan natin show na to. <laughs> <laughs> or, or ano, yung may, mayaman yung pagkatao mo, your character, okay. your values in life, masipag ka, may pangarap mm-hmm. ka. Oh, macho, mabait, and mayaman. mayaman. Alright, question number four for four words. What is your childhood dream? Oh my God, sobrang simple wow. lang. Um, four words. To be a simple housewife. Actually, kasi laking probinsya ako. Oh, so wala naman okay. akong nakikitang, alam mo yun, somebody who is doing mm-hmm. big things in their life. Yeah. So yung mga babaeng role model ko, when I was young, yeah. mga housewives. Pero ngayon, so, yun na, din ba? Oh, nung, na. nung maliit pa okay, ako, maliit. syempre nakikita ko na yung sarili ko na, ah, magiging mama ko, yeah. magsistay ako sa bahay, papalakihin ko yung mga anak ko. Of course, since I'm just, you know, I was going with the flow as, mm-hmm. gro- as I grow up, na punta ako sa ibang path ng yeah. buhay, which is I'm very, very grateful for. Pero ngayon ba, yun pa din yung dream mo? Someday? Or hindi na? Iba hindi na. ko na siya naiisip. Hindi mo na naiisip. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi alam mo, ganun din ako nung sa probinsya. I mean, as a working girl, parang fun fact yun for me na hindi ko alam from yourself na talaga, and she lost mo sa very hardworking pero gusto pala maging housewife nung bata. Kasi oh, yun yung ideal mo na giver maybe and then yung mga housewife, kumbaga yun yung job and, talaga. And kasi natin. mas pinaka nakaka-apekto talaga sa mga bata yung mga nagsusurround sa kanila eh. Totoo. Kaya importante din na ikaw as a parent, binibigyan mo ng options yung anak mo na nakikita nila yung mga possibilities that they can be. I oh, wished yes. I had that environment when I was young. Tama. When I entered show business, sabi ko talaga sa sarili ko, sana pinatry nila ako na sobrang dami activities like <laughs> singing, <laughs> piano, whatever. Para, para lang nagkaroon ako ng, ng options or like I built a lot more. I was doing cartooning when I was young. Ang dami kong ginagawa na hindi na siya na-push mm. just because In the province, kung ano lang yung meron tayo, parang nagsisettle na tayo doon. Yeah. Yung mag-aasawa ka ng kapitbahay mo, yeah. dyan ka na rin titira, dyan ka natatanda. Yung wala masyadong push ng dream big idea. Ito. Relate ako dyan kasi I grew up also in Palawan. And ikaw ay sa North Cotabato. North Cotabato. So alam naman natin yung mga probinsya na diba? Lagi tayong may ganung thinking. Oh, oh. Kala ko sasabihin mo sana, kasi nga nag yung dreams ko, kasi nga maganda ako, kaya naging beauty ko yun. <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> nagkataon lang yun. I was, yeah, I was just in a certain situation, kaya napunta ako sa World of pageantry. pageantry. I think same, really. Ito naman, now for five words, a question that is hard for you to answer. Um, when are you getting married? Uh, in our age, ha? Parang yun na lang lagi. Parang hindi siya nawawala sa bawat post ko sa Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mari, kailan ka magpapakasal? And what can you say about it? Um, I think it's it's a normal Marites uh, yeah. energy <laughs> yeah. ng mga Pinoy. After mo magpakasal, kailan ka magkakaanak? Totoo! Kaya after mo magkaanak, kailan mo susundan yung Totoo. anak mo? <laughs> parang <laughs> naging system na siya. Yes. And I heard na parang it's very a hard topic then for newly married couples mm-hmm. na kung may pressure na laging magkaanak. Oo. Oh, But then, hindi mo na rin talaga maaalis yan sa taong bayan kasi yun talaga nakaka-attract ng atensyon ng mga tao. The cheese miss about private lines. <laughs> na, Kaya nga ikaw lagi yung sagot ng cheka, di ba? <laughs> ikaw ang mare ng bayan. Nakikinig lang ako. Pag mga kailangan itago, tinatago naman hmm. natin. Pero unbothered ka talaga when mm-hmm. it comes to that. Oh, Do you want kids in the future? Of course! Of course naman. Ang sarap kaya ng feeling na kasi ako, I didn't grow up with parents. So, I really wanted to experience that one day. How am I gonna shower them with love, love. and affection and time and just see somebody grow na maging, alam mo yun, magkaroon sila na malaking effect in the society. Oh. Like, I think that's so beautiful. Uy! Malapit that's, na sana yan. Pag kita. Oh, wait. Oh, let's manifest. <laughs> Ganon. And then naman, six words. 
Okay. What so, makes you a queen, Mare? Oh. What makes me a queen? Um, my authentic self and being kumare oh. ng bayan. Pwede ba yun? <laughs> kumare. Alam mo na, get sa natin oh. yun. Get kumare. Pasok yun sa six words. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm really grateful that I was really able to be myself and for the people to embrace that. Na may other side naman talaga yung mga beauty queens. Sa Hindi to-o. lang tayo yung the boxed beauty queens that you're expecting mm-hmm. you to see. Although, I would still hear other people commenting na, ano ba yan? Naging masyado ng, ano, Scripted. yung tagina social. Hindi ko maganan ah, sila. Bakit okay, ganyan? Yung, hindi ka na beauty queen. Kasi nga, they, they still have that this, about you. They still have this idea na, pag beauty queen ka, dapat hindi ka nagjo-joke. Hindi ka, Alagin alam mo yun. yun. May, may mga nagko-comment pa rin na ganun. Oh. But then again, Every beauty queen, iba-iba tayo eh. May Totoo. mga beauty queens na talagang tahimik lang sila. Mm. May mga beauty queens na they're loud and funny. Mm-hmm. May mga beauty queens na we have different personalities and it would be nice for the people to just let you yeah. be yourself without the fear na baka i-judge ka nila. Can I just say also na kaya din siguro marami talagang nagmamahal pa lalo sa'yo and even kami kasi ikaw yung parang first ever Miss Universe na nag-break talaga ng mga stereotypes. And kaya din siguro until now, very relevant ka pa din. Kasi mas nakaka-relate sila sa'yo. Although, yun nga, may mga tao pa din na hindi maa-accept yun. Kasi mm-hmm. pag beauty queen tayo, yung show yung binigay natin, doon nila tayo kailangan. Yes. And sometimes, if we change or transition to something, mm-hmm. tayo talaga. Mm-hmm. Like me, being inside Big Brother House or joining other pageants, parang nababago yung paningin nila sa'yo. Right. Yeah. Hindi nila ina-expect. Tapos parang nakastock na kasi sila doon sa fantasy na... The bateria ka. Yeah. Uh, 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 But we're not. We're real. Oh, oh. Ayan. Seven question na tayo, Mare, for now. Seven words. What is your proudest accomplishment? Of course, since I mentioned ko na, na I did grow up with parents, uh-huh. being able to uh, take care of myself and my family. Oh. Tama ba yun? May end yung family. Pero sige, pasok na yun. Wala na yung end. Taking care. <laughs> taking care. Ayun, taking care of myself and my family. Mm-mm. Ay, kulang naman. Seven. Tama. Seven, eight na. Ay, tama, seven. Tama. <laughs> Sabaw. Mare. Mare, no taong ka pa rin. <laughs> Welcome to Sir Gano'n. No? <laughs> Akala ko, ikaw, hindi pa na tayo oh, na lang. So, pasok na siya. Pasok, pasok. Perfect. Ako, ako naman kasi talagang pinangarap ko talaga na makagive back sa family ko because in the province, life is simple and mm-hmm. really seeing how simple our lives were, pinangarap ko rin na makap- makatulong. Mm-hmm. And I, I really wish and hope that I can give more. That's oh. why I continue to work hard. And yeah, I think for now, that's my biggest accomplishment. Perfect! Question number eight naman. A message for your hater or haters. <laughs> Kain lang kayo dyan. Kain, Kain kayo marami. Lang kayo <laughs> hindi ba eight words? Diba? Kailangan ba eight words to? Marami. Ma- oh, eight. Ha? Ah? Oo. Eight. Mga kumare, relax lang kayo dyan. Kain kayo. Oh! oh! <laughs> Ang galing! You're staying the challenge, ha? In oh, fairness. Kasi nowadays, na-realize ko, at first, nung sobra na talaga akong nagiging active on social media, mm-hmm. it, uh, no matter how you try to just ignore, di ba yun ang sasabi natin, just ignore them, whatever, it will still affect you somehow, oh, di ba? Yes. Ang hirap naman talaga siyang ignore. You're not 100% But all you know what time. I realized? Lately, lahat ng clicks nagmamatter. Mm-hmm. So, for me right now, pag nag hate ka, sige, visit mo lang yung YouTube ko, visit mo yung social media ko, give me traffic, okay lang yan. <laughs> kung baga, kumikita na tayo doon. Oh, <laughs> kumikita na kami doon, Kerry lang. Ikaw na one yung nainis, hindi na one ako. <laughs> so, kain kayo ng marami. Good oh, health, oh, God bless. Oh, oh, God bless you, ganun. Alright, question number nine. Your reaction to your most meme photo, mag-iisang dekada na, mare, ano na? Hanip. <laughs> Kumaring Mary Jean, kailan ba mag-expire ang iyong national costume? <laughs> yes! Ay, ang galing! Ang galing! 
parang wala siyang explanation date. Ito lang yung cake na it will live forever. <laughs> Alam mo, feeling ko, dapat meron ka ng bake shop tapos yun yung parang happy birthday. Kaya nga. Pampagod ba yung sito ng mga pageant fans natin? Or, in or siguro dapat nag-event organize na ako. Ito na yung theme lahat. Ano ba? At saka pag may naigita silang ganyan yung color palette, parang alam nila agad na yan. Oo na. nga eh. Pero ako naman as long as happy sila, happy na rin ako. <laughs> Ayan. Hindi ka naman na-offend habang ginagawa no, pa din. No, never. Okay. I was never, I was never offended. Kasi after the competition, I really felt naman na na-appreciate nila yung effort ko. Mm-hmm. And hindi naman nila ako inaatake personally. Mm-hmm. They were just really saddened na it could have been better. May yeah. mga ganun lang na factors. But at the end of the day, competitions are still a matter of destiny. Yeah. You can control so much eh. Like, mag- effort ka 100% and so does the other girls who are mm-hmm. putting in effort 100%. Iba pa din. But, mm-hmm. It please if it's if it's really your night if it's your destined mm-hmm. you know if your life is destined to change then really ba mm-hmm. so and can I just say also na you shaped also the Philippine pageantry kaya din siguro na yung mga next in line sa yun ng mga Miss Universe is mas nagagawa nila yung mga gusto nila because of these things na na break mo din na barriers actually ang daming so mga... hindi alam ng mga tao yun pero Uh-oh. kumbaga that's the start and mm-hmm. after that talagang di ba nang showcase natin yung mga Filipino designers so kumbaga ito yung naging molding pot din ng binibining Pilipinas from you and then for the next generation so yun Maraming mga pageant fans na mga bago lang sila uh-huh. naging fans na hindi nila alam na kasi sila sabi nila, bakit kasi ganyan yung national costume mo? Hindi, lingit sa kaalaman nila that we didn't have the liberty to choose yeah. our own designs, whatever you want. And uh, although we tried, we tried to, yeah. you know, give suggestions that uh-huh. can I wear a color like this or like that. But since it's still a private business, yeah. Um, it's During a it's a private times. franchise, mm-hmm. and even now it's still a private franchise. Mm-hmm. It's not owned by the government. It's not yeah. owned by the public. We can only give our opinion online. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there are people who paid for the franchise, and it's still their decision on how they wanted to run yeah. their pageant. Kaya din lucky ngayon yung mga sumasal ng pageants kasi they have the liberty. Oh, binigyan na talaga sila ng freedom to express mm-hmm. their art or like mm-hmm. to express their personality kung kung ano ba talaga yung gusto ko naririnig ko naman yeah. lagi yun na pinapapili sila ng gawin pero gusto ko lang palakpakan si MJ na si Mosa <laughs> hindi kasi for me yun talaga yung isang tatak mo sa pageantry na minsan sobrang hindi nabibigyan ng recognition but you already break you know a lot of barriers para din to pave way din sa ibang beauty queens na and I'm happy to see nila. and I'm happy to see Filipinas succeeding Winning. in the pageant yeah. so far all right, for the last word and 10 questions. Hi. 10 words na to. How do you want to be remembered? How do I want to be remembered? I wanted to be remembered as someone who is kind, supportive, and loving. Oh. Wait, 10 ba yun? Yun talaga. Medyo na touch ako, wait, 10 ba yun? Yun talaga yung um, na-realize ko na I will never stop doing after my stint in Miss Universe uh-huh. because somehow it kind of felt like whenever I read harsh words on social media mm-hmm. and in 2014 medyo lumalaki pa yung lumalaki pa lang yung social media yeah. parang it's so hard for other people to be kind uh-huh. it's so hard for other people to be supportive di ba yung Bakit hindi, bakit hindi mo kayang gawin? Ano? Pwede bang let's just, you know, respect each other oh, oh. and then filter out. Oh, diba oh. nag-filter na tayo sa ating mga photos and we also filter our words? Oo, oh, oh. so I wanted to live by example. Kung makikita nila na ah, si Ate MJ supportive, loving, and kind, mm-hmm. I wanted to be the same to the next girls. Yes, oh. there you have it, mga mare. <laughs> Success sa ating Mare MJ. Talaga namang kumare ka at very witty. Thank you for being so game. And now, pwede na tayo dumal daw ng walang limit na words. Okay. Kaya naman, let's move on sa ating kwento mo. Let's go! Again, Maring MJ, marami salamat for gracing the sum up. And we are actually conceptualizing this show. You were one of the top choices. Kaya naman sabi talaga namin, pwede bang number one episode natin is MJ? Because lagi kang kilala na ikaw yung nag-interview. Mm-hmm. So this time naman gusto namin mas makilala ka pa. And if you really wanna ask questions about me as well, feel free. 
So, but for the first question, how are you feeling, Mare, na hindi ko na bibilangin ang taon? But I must say <laughs> na it was a quite long time since you represented our country sa Miss Universe. But you are still one of the most relevant Filipina queens until this day. Grabe naman sa relevant. <laughs> no, totoo! 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 Um, I'm very, very grateful. I never really, I never had a plan mm-hmm. on what's gonna happen with my life after the Miss Universe stint. I will never forget na may the bus pa ng time na yon. Pag kauwi ko galing Florida, where the Miss Universe pageant he- was held, nag the bus ako. And sabi ni Chris Aquino, ano gusto mong gawin after? after. So sabi ko, hindi ko talaga siya naisip. Alam mo yun, it, it was something na, di ba tinatanong naman minsan, yeah. minsan sa Miss Universe yun, if you win, what are you gonna do tomorrow? Wala akong, What's your plan? Oh, Say wala akong ganoon. So parang sabi ko na lang sa kanya, I wanted to work. Yun lang yung nasa isip ko. Gusto ko lang magtrabaho. So, being famous, being relevant, staying in the industry, all of that was never my plan. Gusto ko lang talagang makapag-provide ng maayos na buhay to myself, to my family. It, it was personal. Aww. And everything that came with that was, you know, just the icing. So, parang na, wala kang strategy. Talagang oh, God blesses you as well with these opportunities oh, and you maximize it. And sa totoo lang, every time nagtatrabaho ako, I don't think of like, magkano kaya kakitain ko dito? Hindi kasi mm-hmm. ako ganun eh. Yung I'm, I'm really grateful for every job that's given to me. Ginagawa ko siya wholeheartedly. Oh, totoo. Gu- gusto na, I ko yung, to yung well. trabaho. Talagang binubukos ko yung puso ko dyan. Sa lahat ng trabaho ang ginagawa ko, I'm very, very grateful. Kaya siguro, pag hindi mo ini-stress yung sarili mo na to really push yourself na, oh, dapat tomorrow mas successful ako from today. Uh-huh. And all the more that you're attracting success. Yeah. Yay! Kaya naman mm-hmm. you are blessed and loved. Thank you. <laughs> But my question now, Mar, is kung meron ka bang ginawa before sa Miss Universe na ayaw mo sanang makita ulit with other queens, ano yun and bakit? Um, one thing that I really regret was not asking enough help. But because also I was really respectful of the organization, so I really thought na aantayin ko lang kung ano yung ipaprovide nila. I was really scared to to receive help from all the others around us, which is sometimes it's not good. Then, parang feeling mo kaya mo na okay na kaya ko na to. And dami dami kasi willing to mulong talaga. What, so that's, medyo nakasama yung pagiging strong mo. <laughs> hindi naman na parang mas siguro mas napagaan at mas mm-hmm. napabuti sana kung mas mm-hmm. naging open ako to help around me. Because seeing the two winners that the Philippines provided, it really takes a village, di ba? Ang yes. daming lahat ng tulong na pwede mong i-receive gawin mo dahil hindi mo talaga to kaya or like a small team cannot just stand alone. Yeah, so parang multiple minds are better than one. Oh, oh. Yeah. so if you can, you know, ask, reach for help, go get it. Napakalaking no tulong nun. Oo, oh, yes. napakalaking tulong nun at hindi basta-basta mag-compete internationally and to represent a country who has like So much pressure, put so much pressure on Philippines me. Philippines palang pressure diba? na agad yun. So ayan na sa ating mga future queens, alam yun na don't, don't be hesitate. afraid. Yeah, don't oh, hesitate to and ask be for afraid. help. Yes, okay. But speaking of Miss Universe, Mare, was it really your dream when you were young to be a Miss Universe? Hindi, kasi nga chika ko kanina, di ba? Housewife na lang ako, man. Na yung naiisip ko. Actually, kahit nga maging to be seen on TV, mag-artista, mm-hmm. never kong na-imagine in my wildest dream. Hindi ko siya pangarap. Whoa. Pero ngayon na nandito ka na, are you, na-realize mo ba na ito talaga yung calling mo? Kasi civil engineer ka, di ba? Computer engineer. Ay, com- computer engineer. Uh-huh. So, um, when I was in college, of course, ang goal ko talaga magtrabaho as an engineer after. Uh-huh. And then, bigla na lang akong napunta sa Miss Universe, sa Binibining Pilipinas. Uh-huh. Actually, yung dream ko na maging Miss Universe Philippines, naging strong siya after manalo ni Shamsi. Dahil That's naging why you close again. kami. Runner up ah. niya ako. We became very close friend. I saw her journey from her training. Nag-train pa siya sa Colombia hanggang sa competition niya in Brazil. Nakalimutan ko na kung ano yung video call na ginagamit namin. Skype pa ba yun yung time na yun? Oh my God, oh my 2011. God. Skype. Hindi ko na maalala. Baka then, friendster pa yun ah. Oh my God! God. <laughs> Anyway, so yun, nag-video call pa kayo. Tapos kinikwento niya sa akin yung how. Kasi ma- mas konti yung updates na nare-receive natin mm-hmm. sa, ma- sa mga happenings. So, kinikwento niya na sabi niya sa akin, alam mo, kung ikaw nandito, kayang-kaya mo to, ginagano niya ako mm-hmm. nung time na yun. So, doon talaga ako, na- talaga ako napaisip na, 
I think kaya ko. Bakit hindi ko i-try ulit? This is your second time, tama? Kaya ako nag-second try. A year after her. Relate ako. Kasi ganun oh, din oh. na witness ko din yung journey ni Katrina. Tapos nanalo siya sa Thailand. Mm. Na-inspire din ako. Mm-hmm. So di ba the other queens talaga paved their way to oh, be here. Oh. Next And it, it really gives, totoo talaga yung inspiration. Alam mm-hmm. kong it's a used to word na parang gas-gas na gas-gas yeah. na siya. But it really does affect your your decisions in life. Mm-hmm. Lalo na kung abot ka may mo yung inspiration. Yes. Yung And kaya mo. Paligid. And you work with the Oracle oh. already. So you know how it is. Oh. Alright, ito naman. We all came to a point na when we question ourselves, di ba? During the pageants or anything about our journey in our life. What has been your biggest question before while you were joining pageants and how did you find the answer? Before? Be- so parang what was your biggest question sa sarili mo na kailangan mong isolve by yourself? During the competition? During the competition. Um, And then how do you solve it after the competition? Actually, the very, very tricky part of being in a competition is the constant comparison, which is actually a part of the competition. You're mm-hmm. being compared to the next girl standing beside you. I know it's kind of hard. It can really make or break you as a person. You will question a lot about mm. yourself. You will find so many things that you hate about yourself. And you will look in the mirror and then you will, you will be like, Kaya ko ba to? Parang Ay, hindi ko kaya. Ang clown. Hindi yeah. parang joke ba ako? Yung uh-huh. Minsan gumaganan ka sa sarili mo. And you know that you're the only person who can answer that. And you should always go back to your purpose. What's the reason why I am standing in this stage? Uh-huh. Bakit ko ba nilagay yung sarili ko sa situation na to? You should always go back to your cause, uh-huh. to your why. Uh-huh. And to That hold on to that. Kasi malulunod ka talaga pag yeah. nasa competition ka na ang dami-dami mo gandang babae. Halos hindi mo na ma-appreciate yung sarili mo. Yes. Na parang feeling ko nga nang nagko-compete ako, mataba ako. Feeling ko hindi ako morena enough. Yeah. Feeling ko ang dami-dami kong feeling na hindi ako enough. And I know that it is normal feeling when you're competing. And I know that you can't stop people from, mm-hmm. you know, comparing, putting pictures side by side and just saying, yeah. na, mukha kang frog, mukha kang kabaya, mukha ka, <laughs> lahat na lang kamukha mo, uh-huh. lahat na yung buong Manila Zoo kamukha mo na. Pero, Pero it's, the, it's, the part of, it's part of the game. Yeah. And pageant is a mental game. Yeah. So you really have to be strong. You should always, you know, you, you should hold tight. Uh-huh to your values, you should hold tight to who you really are uh-huh. para hindi ka mawala. Para hindi mo mawala yung sarili mo in the middle of that war. Yes. And lahat yan ma-advise natin and ma-apply natin. And even now in showbiz, diba? Oh, oh. Not only in pageants. Oh, oh. Sinasabi natin na parang pageantry, marami tayong stereotypes or lagi natin i-mold yung sarili natin. Pero also in our industry, parang same pa rin na-apply pa rin natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's why maybe successful ka rin talaga in your career because you really know who you are. And I am very, very grateful and lucky that I am surrounded with real friends mm-hmm. who are in the industry. And alam kong masasandalan ko, alam kong totoo na hindi ka sino show with. Yeah. Dahil nakikita mo rin sila, naganan din sila. Important so, choose wisely. Choose the people that you wanted to surround yourself with. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ito naman. What have you learned from your pageant experience na dala-dala mo pa din hanggang ngayon na you're taking a different path? Um, embrace the bad day as much as you embrace the good day. It's Oh, I had nun. I had so many bad days during my competitions. Mm. I freaking did three times. <laughs> Bago ka oh, lang. Ay, relate! <laughs> diba? Ang dami-daming nangyari. So, ang daming oh. down sa buhay ko. But as much as I celebrated winning the Binibining Pilipinas crowns, I embraced my defeat. Wow, ang ganda no. Oh. And that's why ikaw talaga ang certified first guest dito kasi sobrang na-inspire mo din talaga ako oh. hindi naman halata, Mare. <laughs> Love you, Mare. Sorry ko nga sa iyo, may sumukom loud eh kung ano. Ni ba din sa next guest? Thank you. But, And uh, totoo talaga 'yun kasi minsan we question so much. We question God, we ca- we question everything around us. We blame so many things on why things happen to mm-hmm. ourselves, but We can't just like sit, be quiet, and just think that maybe things are just happening because there are good reasons after that. Yeah. Maybe you're just, you know, ikaw yung binigyan ng mga obstacles na yan because 
the Lord knows that you can handle that. Oh. Or because kailangan mo pa ng konting push at konting hasa para maging stronger ka to the next journeys that you're going to experience. Ang oh. ganda nun ha. Pero oh. I know maraming nagtatanong or nag-iisip ngayon na nalampasan natin yun. Parang lagi natin sinasabi, ang dali lang natin ginawa yun. Pero no. pa- paano ka naka have ng courage or like inspiration again to fight again? Yung parang, okay, embrace the bad days. Pero paano ka nagkakaroon ng inspiration to look forward to the better days are coming? Um, ang tibay kasi ng mga nasasandalan ko ng time na yun. The, my KF family was system. there. Um, I really learned how to put value on the voices who really matters. Mm-hmm. So, pag tinitingnan ko sila, and then nakikita ko sa mga mata nila na naniniwala talaga sila sa akin. Who am I to not believe in myself? Mm-hmm. So, talagang pinush ko na talaga. Wait, victim ka din ba ni Tito Ronch yung sinabi niya na, Nak, sali ka ulit, birthday ko to. Ganun, 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 gan I stepped in the screening na hindi yung adami ko pang kahabulin na itrain yung parang yeah. feeling daw niya ready ready na ako at sabi niya sayang naman na kung hindi mo ipaglalaban yan at ipakita sa international stage and then that's the the time I realized na oh nga no ang haba na ng pinagdaanan ko bakit True. hindi ko pa i-push, i-push. kasi pwede that's why naman second. yung parang yung third ko na yun yung parang third na ako. Wh- what's stopping me from trying again andito na ako eh oh, oh. konti na lang oh, oh. I think it's more of just being afraid of what people are gonna say. Kaya tinurn off ko yung social media pa that time. And then you just enjoy and I enjoyed rest. it. I embraced it. Sabi ko, bahala na anong mangyari, di embrace ko na lang. Pag natalo ako, makakalimutan lang naman nila yan. Pag nanalo ako, then good. Yeah, pero um, now, you are inspiring a lot of stories and I think that's why din nag-follow din kami. Hindi na nahihiya ang mga repeater and uh-oh. now, parang mas ini-embrace na nila na, okay, di ba, pag di natalo ka, you can join again. Because uh-uh. before, di ba, parang uh-uh. pag sumali ka ulit, parang, ka. ano ba yan? Wala uh-oh. na bang iba? Uh-oh. Especially those times. Yes. Kaya yun yung question ko, how did you find the courage? Uh-huh. So, yun pala, support system is very important. At alam mo, isa sa mga backstage kwento ko nung kinurunahan ako uh-huh. sa Minibining Pilipinas, ang daming lumapit sa akin ng mga co-candidates, sabi nila sa akin, Uh, hindi ako nalulungkot na natalo ako. Because I knew he was able to do it and I'll try again. May mga oh. co-candidates ako and even Pia said she's gonna join again that year. Uh-huh. It, parang accomplishment siya more than winning the crown na parang uh-huh. hindi malungkot yung mga co-candidates kung masaya Pero, sila. They're really happy for Oo, you. Oo, kasi nga, na, na, binigyan mo din sila ng inspiration na it's okay actually to lose this night because maybe next year is your year. Yeah. Yung, alam mo yun? Oo. Oh. Oh, talaga. Uy, alam mo yun, ito alam ng maraming tao. Kaya thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Uy, nakakatuwa naman. Hindi, nakakatuwa naman tayo. Hindi, nakakatuwa naman. Parang wait lang, medyo emotional. Taliwas ito sa mga ano natin. Emotional, pero totoo talaga. I'm grateful that you gave me, alam ko, puro na lang ako hosting, puro asking questions and for giving me this opportunity to be able to share my own story. Pero totoo, sobrang na-inspire mo talaga ako. And I know marami din nakaka-inspire ng story mo. So thank you so much for being here. And domino effect yan. Marami ka rin na-inspire. Thank you. Know, you. Sa ating next generation. <laughs> oh. Ayan, ito naman. So next, we have a little game, Mary. Especially crafted from your most recent meme mm-hmm. that made rounds on the World Wide Web during Binibining Pilipinas 2023 hosting stint. Nakaka nyo. The game is called The what can she do? <laughs> Di mo kaya, Mare! Ito yung mga, mga kumare, pag nag-host kayo, pay attention sa co-host. <laughs> hindi, okay. Para hindi yung mga kung ano na na yung mga nasasabi. Disclaimer, kasi medyo minsan, madagundong ng aran ito. Oh. Hindi mo naririnig kagal. Hindi ko alam yung Tagalog word. Pero when I was on stage, it's bungol. Medyo nabibingi ka. Parang wala ganun. siyang, kasi wala, walang speaker, walang feedback yes. sa amin. So, Actually, we were trying to stick to the mm-hmm. script as much mm-hmm. as we can because we can't hear each other. Mm-hmm. Kasi naka, ang laki ng Araneta, di ba? Naka, nakaharap lang sa kanila. So mm-hmm. parang hindi mo masyadong naririnig yung mga sinasabi. And I think I was just focused on my script at that time. Biglang mm-hmm. 
na overwhelmed <laughs> lang ako sa kung ano na naman pinagsasabi Pero ko. naging iconic pa din yun and trending ka pa rin. Kaya naman, continually, ikaw pa rin ang mare ng bayan. Everything! Hindi kumakabog ang kahit sino. Nakakaloka, <laughs> nerd. So ito, this is very simple, Mari. I will ask you some things and we have black cards. Ayan. Here, that you will raise everything if you agree that you can do it or nothing if you can if you can okay. okay and then tapos we can discuss it why is that your answer okay all right ready so our first question given the recent changes in miss universe organization let's say that there will be an all-star miss universe where heavy favorites who already joined can join again mm -hmm. would you join Ay, ah. hindi, ako, hindi ako na top five. Let's go, go, go. Yes! <laughs> Pwede naman, pero iniisip Wait, ko lang talaga. <laughs> Ay, sorry. Everything. Yes. Kasi, iniisip ko kasi, ang hirap-hirap mag-compete. Especially mm -hmm. in this era of pageantry na dapat may pasabog ka lagi online. Mm -hmm. Kailangan may whole team ka talaga hindi na. Hindi pa ganun na ikaw ngayon? Parang, hin <laughs> hindi naman, hindi naman, in, in our, in my pageant experience before, it was not like that. Oh, yeah, Yung parang yeah. nakafocus, nakafocus lang ako sa big nights, like sa preliminaries, talent competitions. Yeah. Wala yung, today, ano kaya ang pasabog, mare? Walang ganun. So I think, today, diba? Up. So I think, it's going to be very challenging, but given that, the Philippine pageantry community is very supportive. Mm -hmm. Pwede! Like, oh. Everything is a god! <laughs> okay, next, are you in favor for the changes that Miss Universe is going through? Like no age limit requirement, married women can join, and transgender women are encouraged to join? Actually, it's a very, very sensitive topic. Personally, when you consider, when you're looking at Miss Universe, mm -hmm. It being just a pageant, a competition. Uh -huh. Maganda sana may restrictions. Uh -huh. Kasi dun dun mo na nandun yung game eh. Nandun uh -huh. yung Ay, Ay, hindi na siya pwedeng sumali kasi yeah. 27 na siya. Nandun yung parang yung excitement uh -huh. na hala, kailan ka kaya sasali kasi uh -huh. time's running out or uh -huh. Alam mo yun, na, and I think that's why then we have time drive na ganun, kasi we know it's just a limited period of time. Oh, tama ba? oh so pa, so yung excitement ng mga fans na nako pag nag nagasawa ka na hindi ka na pwede, so gawin yeah. mo na bago ka magasawa okay. yung yung ganong excitement. If you only consider those things, yes, magandang may height limit, may age limit, uh -huh. lahat ng limitations imbuhos niyo na. Yeah. But at the same time, the earth is ever so revolving. Yes, and daming nagbabago, and daming mm -hmm. Kahit nga LGBTQ, ang dami pa rin personalities na nadi-discover nila sa sarili nila, di ba? Ang dami-dami ng plus, plus, plus. Uh -huh. So, inclusivity is very, very relevant. And me watching Miss Columbia this year, her being a mom of two, na-inspire ako. Na parang, Tapos nakaka-inspire. Actually, gusto ko siya makita sa top three. Kasi ang sarap kaya makakita ng mommy na, and to think na pwede pa pala, pwede mo kaya pa palang pahuliin pa pala. yung sarili mo. Like, the, the, just the thought na, Yung mga moms kasi nga, minsan iniisip nila na, ah, you're Hindi losing yourself uh -huh. pag nagkaanak ka na, yung, yung kids mo na yung buhay mo. Uh -huh. Pero you can still pursue a dream even after giving birth. That's a beautiful thing, ha? Yeah. So, so is it everything or nothing? I think I would say everything now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Laban laban na to, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the platform that we can continually inspire, so why not, oh. right? Yes. Okay, aside from hosting, you are also venturing into acting with a number of projects under your belt. Mm -hmm. Of course, ang tagal niyan, more than... Halos isang dekada na, no? Huwag na natin binangin mo, ayan ba? Gusto, gusto mo tayo minimension yung dekada. Masaya kasi, parang isang dekada. Natutuwa talaga ako dun sa meme mo, actually. Sabi mare, ko, grabe, hindi talaga siya, walang tatalo. Kaya nga, nakakalagod na, mare. Ngayon, nakita ko na naman siya today. <laughs> Today? Oh, nakita ko na naman Alam siya today. Alam mo, can I just say, pwede mong i-trademark yun. Baka kumita ka pa doon, no? Pwede ba yun? Pwede yun? So, okay. okay. I-research natin yung pattern yun. The question is, will you be open to doing daring roles into movies? Yung views ko dyan, nagbabago-bago every time. Okay. So, during the pandemic, I was stuck at home. I, I started watching a lot of random movies uh -huh. on the streaming platforms. And I started to appreciate that there's art and even the daring scenes. Yeah. Na pwede naman palang, I, I would still respect Julia Roberts even okay. after watching her 
super daring love scenes in mm. her movie, you know. So there are still ways of keeping your your values and keeping yourself, and at the same time doing the art of the job. Mm-hmm. And then, naging host ako ng isang good time show. So parang yeah. naging ano naman yung views ko sa buhay. Na parang sabi ko, ay ay gusto ko clo- close lang ako sa TV. Uh-huh. Ayo ako ng mga daring daring ganyan. So I think the Nag-iba. more that I expose myself to something. Nagiiba. Nag-iba. So for now, it's nothing. nothing. Kasi nothing. mas gusto kong i-pursue yung hosting ngayon. Yeah. Gusto kong magkaroon ng talk show. Yeah. Gusto kong yun yung... Then you're doing it. So kung oh, yeah. oh, yun yung pangarap ko ngayon. Uh-huh. So nothing, nothing muna. Nothing for the... At the moment. At the, the moment. moment. Yeah. Oh, oh. Para walang bashing for the oh, moment. Oh. <laughs> Alright. And Jay Lastimosa for reality show like Pinoy Bean Brother. <laughs> nothing or everything. <laughs> ano ba? Um... Masaya kasi As pinanood mo bago-bago. Oo nga eh, pinanood kita, masaya naman. <laughs> Pero nang ini-imagine ko yung sarili ko, siguro nothing. Nothing. Dahil ang dami kong restrictions nothing. when it comes to diet. Mm-hmm. And that will affect vegan my... Vegan po siya, ladies and gentlemen. I'm vegan, so that will affect my day-to-day Ooh. life. Mm-hmm. Which is a big part of Big Brother. Yeah. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-inarte doon kung ano lang yung tama, 'di ba? Kung ano lang yung pagkain na provided sa inyo. Eh, mare may organic vegetables. Can I farm inside Big Brother? <laughs> Pwede mag garden. <laughs> Kuya. Uy, pero ito, meron lang ako uh, gusto lian kasi parang naalala ko, mare, sabi parang tayong dalawa do yung pinagpipili. Sabi, oh, okay. "Na kumare, hindi ko kaya diyan, no ikaw na baka may na ako. Where's my organic vegetables? Asa yung black pepper Big Brother?" <laughs> Ay, baka mako na daw ako, baka mamali pa yung consensual na mga oh <laughs> Hindi talaga ako pasok sa top 50. <laughs> Hindi, pero kasi mahirap talaga siya, guys. Mahirap siya. Meron kaming um, celebrity housemate din na vegan siya. Tapos, yun, hindi na din siya naging vegan. Diba? Ba? <laughs> Mahi- <laughs> ang hirap niya talaga. Hi, Jordan, talaga. I love you. <laughs> ang hirap niya hirap maintain. Talaga, guys. Hindi ka rin pwedeng mag-attitude doon. Hindi ka pwedeng maging choosy. And eh, hindi ka naman nagiging choosy kasi like style really mo na one new no? yeah. so it's so something now, na kailangan ko talaga siyang pag-isipan if ever nagagawin ko siya so kasi I have moment, to change a lot of things in nothing. my nothing at, at the, the moment at the moment nothing mm-hmm. okay but who knows but who knows so, All right, and that's it for what can she do? Now, Mari and Jimmy will move on to the last corner of our show. Sa ating segment, na umingi kami sa ating mga Sambre Nation at sambayan na mga kuwento nila, na mga sulirani nila, mga problems nila. And we will just about to give them advice from our perspective and also from our viewers. Para naman din mas ma-enlighten sila sa pinagdadaanan nila. And our NGL for today is... The question is, do you have trust issues? Uy, ang ganda niya. Actually, yes. Yes. Oo. Ako din, meron lahat din kasi ako. Ng, lahat ng relationships ko na hindi naman nag-pursue. Even with friends, ang dami ko rin mga naging kaibigan na hindi na rin, hindi na nag-flourish. Mm-hmm. Kasi nami-breaking trust. And it's such a big deal for me. Because even with friends, when I treat you as my friend, you are my friend, I treat friend you as family. 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 So, when you treat a person as your family, you, sh- you shouldn't put trust in the relationship, mm-hmm. diba? And pag nabreak yun, parang it's so hard to pretend that it's okay. It's so hard to move on. I actually, there was a relationship that I even forgave and I really tried mm-hmm. to to still, you know, fight for it. Mm-hmm. Hindi na talaga kaya. Hindi na talaga kaya. mag-pretend na nagtatra- na okay lang. So, my trust issues ka oh, din. Oh. Ako din, my mm-hmm. trust issues. Pero I think it's also my way of guarding myself then mm-hmm. through my life experiences. And at the same time, parang, you know, limiting yourself then sa mga taong gusto mo talagang mas i-flourish your relationship. Mm-hmm. Siguro dahil nag-i-age na rin tayo, oh. that's Diba? I think trust issues, is especially if your experiences brought you to that point of life, yeah. is normal. But at the same time, you should also consider of putting yourself back there. Mm-hmm. Diba? Dapat willing ka rin talaga mag-risk again. Again. Kasi, what's the purpose of life if you're just going to limit yourself yeah. forever? Diba? Totoo. Okay so, lang naman I mahurt, think... okay lang naman mm-hmm. mag-move on, okay lang naman 
i-open na natin yung sarili mo to new people, new experiences, mm-hmm. new friends, new dates. Yeah. So, kung baga meron tayong trust issues, but we are open for second chances. Oh, Parang ganun. Oo. Oh, oh. And always open for new relationships din. Ayan. New relationships. Abanga. Yes. <laughs> There you have it. If you guys have any questions or you're going through something that you want to share, please also send us via email at inq that summervlogs at gmail.com and you can send it anonymously. So safe kayo dyan, guys. Now, Mari MJ, before we end the show, do you have anything you want to promote for our news? Um, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. No, and thank you. Good luck sa show. I am very, very excited for you. Sana supportahan niyo po ang um, show ni Samber. She's such a uh, genuine. She's a great person. And also supportahan niyo rin po yung vlog ko, The Secret Lounge with Maring MJ. We're also available on Spotify. So kung wala kang time manood ng YouTube, you can find us on Spotify. Listen to us while you're driving. And support me on my socials, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, MJ underscore Nastimo sa lahat po ng mga events ko na mga ginagawa as of the moment. Makikita niyo po. Yay! Again, Maring MJ, maraming maraming salamat for being here today. Sobrang nag-enjoy kami at sana mas marami din kayong manatutunan for today. Thank you so much and we hope that you continue to be the queen that you are. Yes, Samber Nation, Sambayanan, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Please continue supporting us. Subscribe, like, and comment on my YouTube channel. It helps us a lot by providing you quality contents and we promise to continue providing you the best. Be hopeful, be happy, and be grateful. And that wraps up the Sum Up. Bye! Bye. Next week on the Sum Up. Your greatest wish. Have a Merry Christmas that my parents will be super proud of me. <laughs> Tell <Tell yourself. laughs>